Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in levels and then we added the grid lines and then the exterior wall. Now we're going to continue working on this by going to architecture and clicking on wall. And then here, we're going to go back down and use this 150 millimeters. And then we're going to edit this type and then duplicate. We're going to call this one interior wall number one. Press OK. And then we need to edit this. Our interior wall will be 100. And the material that we're going to use is gypsum wallboard, GYP. And then once you press GYP, gypsum wallboard will appear. And then press OK. And then OK again. So now that we're ready to add the wall, we could go to A2. All the way to C2. And then press escape just once. And then let's go to B2 all the way to B4. Press escape again. Now we're going to click on this area, but we're not going to um, attach it yet. So the reason we're not attaching it yet is because I want to align the face of this wall to this wall. And it will be hard sometimes if you attach it now. It will sometimes be hard for you to align it. And some some of the walls will might shift if that happens. So now I'm gonna type in AL. So AL is the align, it's under modify, it's this icon. You need to click on the face first that you want to copy. So I'm going to align it from here and then you're basically telling Revit that you want to align this now. So that's good. We're also going to click the wall again. And here we're not going to stick this one as well for now. You can now press escape. And then type in AL and let's align this as well. So now that's aligned, we can now drag this one down. Now everything is connected and aligned. And what we're going to do now, so we're just going to drag this one because this is already aligned. What we're going to do is you can go to your modify tab or type in TR that will be the trim and extend to corner command. So I'm going to type in TR, which is this one. And then I'm going to click on here and then click here as well. It is similar to fillet on AutoCAD. So now that this is done. This one was connected as well. So I'm happy with that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the wall again. So CS. Now that interior wall is there, we can now click this that one. So I'm going to just add a wall right here. CS, a wall right here like that. 
and then we're gonna change the dimensions now even I'm gonna add this one as well so the first dimension would be let's click on this wall and perfectly it went from the center line or center line of the wall to the center line of here and let's type in 2064 and then we're going to click on this wall now I want this one to be 740 so now that's done we can now change the dimension of this wall from here so I'm gonna click on here I wanna change this one to 1550 after that I'm gonna click on this wall temporary dimension is incorrect I want to change this so I'm gonna drag it up to this center line wall so now the dimension of that will be around 1850 so now that's good we're also going to add a wall right here but for now I'm gonna click this one type in CS and then I'm just gonna add it around here for now <clears throat> once we create our stairs we're gonna change that as well but this one should be from the grid line around 310 so for now let's leave, leave that and the width we're gonna work on that later on we're also going to add balls right here so you can click on the walls interior wall type in CS and for now let's add in walls like this and also a wall midline here and a wall something right here now the dimension for this wall so press escape and then click on the wall I want this temporary dimension to be on this mid line or the grid line C and then we're gonna change this one to be 1775 so now let's click on this wall it's perfect that this one went there I want this one to be eleven hundred. And this wall, let's click on this wall. This should be around nineteen hundred only. Okay. after that let's insert some doors so go to insert load family and then around below there will be a door and then let's click on residential we have the exterior wall door so let's add this one for our main door I'm just gonna add everything so I'm gonna click on above and then fold on shift and click on below 
and then it will highlight everything. It will basically tell you that you selected uh, many types of family, different dimensions. And then once you do, you can now click on the door. And let's add in the main door like that. So maybe we could increase the width, maybe 17 by 200. So here, as you can see, if we go below or down, it will change the orientation of the door. Once you click that, it will look like that. You can also select it again. And you can increase the width by 1800. So I think 1800 will be fine by 2000 height. So next, go to insert again, load family. And let's look for interior wall. So let's use the interior single one panel wood. Similar to here, let's select everything. Hold on shift. So select one first and then hold on shift and select this and then press OK. Press OK on that and then let's go to the door and then here we're going to change this one to around 750 by 2000. We're going to change this orientation by clicking on space bar. You can go from here to there. So now we added that one. We need to access. So this one will be our mudroom. So this will be our mudroom. I'm going to add the door right here. And then a door right here as well. Space bar to change this. And then press escape. This one is too big. I'm going to change this to around 7,000. Oh, sorry, 700 by 2,000. And then I'm going to nudge it a little bit here. Let's add in the the sliding door for our closet. So let's go back to insert and load family. We have some sliding door right here. And then we need to click. And then let's select everything again by clicking on the first, holding on shift and clicking on the last. Press OK. And then go back to door. And then we're going to add the sliding door right here. And then right here, we could change this width. So we could go 1500 by 2000. So that will be perfect. This one as well. Maybe 17 by 2000. That will be nice as well. And then now we're going to change this up by clicking on the wall. We're going to create a wall opening. So I'm going to click this wall opening and then I'm going to select the walls after. So I'm going to select here and I'm basically telling that I'm going to cut it here up to here. So there will be a wall opening right there. If you want to see it, 
it will look like this. So I'm going to add in a section. And then you can double click the section. And as you can see, we have an opening here. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to remove that and remove this section. So I just want to show you to you guys. Then again, we're going to click on the wall. Wall opening here. First and then the second. For some reason, if you made it short, you can always hover around here. And if you click on that, you can basically change the width of this one. So it's it's very useful and it's very convenient to change the width. So I'm going to click it here as well. And we're going to create an opening right here. For now, I'm going to move it like that. And we can always change it later on. And we're going to create an opening as well here. Press escape. So now, before I for, for, uh, forget this, let's go to annotate. And we're going to go to detailed line to add more detailed on this. So I'm just going to use a demolished line. And then we're going to show that there is a rod here by adding two lines. Even here, let's add two lines. Okay. And then let's add in the garage door. So we'll go to insert load family and then we have this two kinds right here we could add this one for now and maybe we could change it later on so i'm going to click on this and then go back to architecture and then door and let's add in one right here and one beside it don't worry we're going to fix this one so i'm going to click on this and you could nudge it from your arrow key on your keyboard. This one as well. Let's nudge this in place like so. And then let's select both of them by holding on control. And then nudge them both together. So we're just basically eyeballing it in place. So that looks good. I'm happy with this. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.